Hey, irrational loser here, and in today's survival Minecraft, we need to build the sugarcane and bamboo farm just so we can get unlimited firework rockets and scaffolding. So let's get to it. Now, before we get into today's video, I need to ask you a really, really important question. You know how I love Terralith. And well, the Terralith mod adds some buildings that have been custom built, and one of them is this. But what I didn't know is this has a secret underground area. It has a shaft to come down. It goes into this, which has spawners and spawners and chests and whole, 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 whole area to explore and navigate through. So if you think I should do this, comment down below. Let me know that I should do this because there is secrets in here that I don't even know about, but there's lots of spawners, there's lots of chests, and there's also stuff up top. There's a... There's an armor stand in here, with a netherite helmet on. What is this? A minus 8% speed? So this is a custom MBT helmet up the top here. Um. What I will do is do that because I don't want the minus 8% speed. But I will take, I will take that armor stand. But if you just want me to explore the area underneath us, comment down below and leave a like and we will get exploring it. Fun fact, I am an idiot. I came all the way up here just to get a wee bit extra gunpowder so I can go to the nether and get some more ancient debris because I need a specific enchantment on the shovel and I can't seem to get it with the book. So I thought, why not just a new shovel? And then I realised my wings have 16 durability left. Yes, that's fun. <laughs> I need to fly down, turn this off, and hopefully not die in the process. Not used any durability there. Perfect. Now, I can get down here safely. Um, I just need to do this. Boom! So I got some arrows there. I need more gun. So I'm going to jump down. And we're actually going to see something new that I've added. Thanks to my man Ray's at Ray's Works. I, I figured out how to get the scaffolding one working. So this is a continuous clock. And it will only fire when the hoppers that are here have five full stacks of item. So I've got all of this string, I've got no bamboo, so this won't fire. And then if I come over here, I have loads of gunpowder in here. Whoa, I may have more gunpowder than I need. So it's four stacks to five. So I can put that back in like that. So I can get two stacks of TNT. I just need to go and get a whole load of sand now. And I need to go and repair my elytra. So I survived getting to the nether roof. <laughs> oh, we only made it that far. That is fine. I just need to get an Unbreaking 3 book and we'll last a bit longer on flying around. So we're going in this direction. So I have been over in this direction. There's a temple there. I did not even see that. How could I not? Oh, I am so blind when it comes to this game sometimes. Oh, oh bombs. Eh, that's a bit boring. Oh, that's quite a good chest. Blame. Uh, anything else? Or is it just these? You can never go wrong with sticky pistons, so... Alright, let's get going again. I always talk about it, Terralith. I know, I'm sorry, but... Like, we've got volcano stuff here. Get some massive coral reef stuff. But one of the things I like about Terralith is... Some of the crazy stuff it builds. Once this loads in right here... Look at that. That's all terracotta. That's nuts. But yeah, that's not why we're this way. We're going this direction. Just making sure we've got enough durability and things like that to fly there and back. But like I said at the start of the video, that big ice sculpture 
is part of the Terralith mod and so are some of the villages that come into this world. I don't know if one will pop up here but there is one around here. This one. Look, it has a whole thing. It's nuts. But we're here for a lot of sand so I'm going to get digging. I think we've got enough. Right, let's head back to home, craft this TNT, and then go and blow it up in the nether. This is gonna be fun. Okay, back home, and let's craft up all of the TNT. Can I not? I can't count. Is it the other way around? Is it. Oh, do you know what? I don't mind at all. That's a lot of TNT. Where's my flint and steel? I think I should go and repair this, actually. And I need to repair my wings again. And then we'll go blow up some nether. <laughs> Okay, I got 36 levels. Let's see if we can get Silk Touch. That's a no for the first one. Ah, oh, come on. Two more tries, two more tries. Fortune three. No, Silk Touch. Please. No. Why, why, why do you have to be so awkward? Let's see if we can magically get it in a book. Not a single book, but I did get some unbreaking ones, so I can meld them together and put them on my wings. So let's see. Unbreaking two. That's not bad. Means our elytra will last just a wee bit longer now, but I still need silk touch. So it's back to the drawing board. All right, I'm back. I have 70 levels. They're all going into the shovel. Let's hope we at least... Nope. I was hoping it would be the first one. Like, really hoping. Oh my gosh. Hey! Sil touch efficiency 4. That's not too bad. Uh, can I get any unbreaking books? There we go. So, I've got unbreaking 2 taking us up to unbreaking 3. I've got efficiency 4 and silk touch and then I've also got mending on the original shovel. That's perfect. And we still have a lot of levels left to do the thing. Oh, what's it called? This. Right, what's cheaper? You. And then... Yep, that one. Perfect. And now... I need a shulker box worth of grass. Uh, do I have a spare shulker? No. Oh yes, I do. Perfect. Now, I'm running out of rockets again. It's weird, this is all just for rockets, but I have like no rockets to go on. Yep, I am completely out of rockets. Nice. Oh well. Uh, let's jump over to our plains biome that we were using to get some dirt. A couple of episodes go, uh, we will completely clear that of glass. Of glass? Of grass. Alright, so that didn't take too long of time, and now it's actually time to start building this. So I need to get through this. Let's get going.
that's it done. Uh, yeah, that took me such a long time to do. But it works. I have been able to get in and place all the correct pieces. And one thing I did notice was in a couple of these bamboo ones, they weren't actually grown. So I had to come in and put an extra layer at the top, making a proper bamboo rather than just a shoot. And it seems to have helped. Actually, I don't think it has. It's these ones and these ones here. They don't seem to grow. And I don't know if it's because of the light level. No, the light level is the same for everything else. So, I mean, I have no idea. But these ones just aren't growing. Hmm. Weird. But it's working. It's working amazingly. I have tested it. And I did have to come down here and change a little thing so this is the 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 scaffolding one so this one works amazingly and we're getting scaffolding when we need it but i had to come and change the firework one to this as well because i was just getting so much stuff and this was running out and turning into gunpowder uh, therefore completely breaking this <coughs> completely breaking this auto crafter so that's fine this is still working perfectly so i'm happy with that but other than that it's done i mean if i come into this you can see this is fully stopped it's just so good and then obviously i've got the water stream down here all done and this is filling up nicely and once that fills up fully we're laughing and we will have infinite amount of um, scaffolding and fireworks rockets coming through to the point where I don't even think we're going to get bamboo or sugarcane because when this thing goes off it's just going to drain into that I'm not bothered by that I mean I'd rather have the home I'd rather have those things than the sugar cane and bamboo because there's nothing really else you can be used for sugar cane can be obviously sugar but then it's paper that's it bamboo it can get made into like bamboo woods and things but i probably will never use that and if i want to use it for a furnace array i mean i'm just as easy getting lava and building a big massive lava farm and then building a furnace array so i'm fine with this probably will never use these again i will use the farm a lot so it's going to it's going to fill up no matter what i do but my next point is clearing out the massive area and putting in the aztec temple just so we can get a rough idea for the height i am going to do that in the creative world first just so i can get measurements and stuff like that and then i will need to obviously get all the materials for it and build it but yeah it's, it's done it's done for now i now need to get obviously the sorting system sorted but that's for another time Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Smack that like button, subscribe as well, and check out this one that's popped up.